Tamara always has to ask a question of the waitress. She can never just pick like number five off the menu. It always has to be a thing. Uh, scrambled eggs with grits and toast. Ask a question. Um, coffee? Thank you. You know you want to ask a question. Are these new menus? Okay. See, she has to ask a question. I, I it's like an OCD I'm thing. I'm inquisitive. So this is what I like, which is a lot of food for breakfast. You see that? What is the volleyball schedule this week? Because I'm coming one of the games. What day? What day do you have games? Never. Also, I'm going to teach you how to serve before the game. So I need you to get me a pair of those little shorts. Talk to one of your friends. You can borrow a pair of shorts. Okay? Nope. All right. Are you ready to do this clip of me, please? Okay, make sure you focus on me, okay? All eyes on me, like Tupac said. I thought that was ice cream. So here's the problem with the Black Magic Pocket 4K, and I can't understand why no one talks about this. The issue is how bad the audio is. So I'm using an external mic on the camera, and I really don't understand why I should have to use a mic. For a clip like this that's just a family vlog, this is how close the camera is to me. I'm touching the lens right now. Super close. Audio obviously is good with the external mic. But the camera has two mics built into it, two relatively large mics. I can't understand why, if I'm just doing something simple like a family vlog and I'm going to be this close to the camera, why can't I just use those mics for just regular audio the same way you would if you were filming an iPhone with it? Right, now we're on the camera mic and you can see just how bad the built-in camera mic is. And here's the crazy thing. The recording level is set to 100% right now. And again, this is how close I am to the camera. I can actually grab the entire camera that close to it. We're at 100% volume. Is there any microphone level that you've ever dealt with where you have to leave it set at 100 all the time? For comparison, I'm also filming this on an iPhone, but iPhone 11, and you can hear the difference in audio when the levels are not even adjusted at all. All right, now we're on the camera mic, and you can see just how bad the built-in camera mic is. And here's the crazy thing. The recording level is set to 100% right now. And again, this is how close I am to the camera. I can actually grab the entire camera that close to it. We're at 100% volume. Is there any microphone level that you've ever dealt with where you have to leave it set at 100 all the time? For comparison, I'm also filming this on an iPhone, but iPhone 11, and you can hear the difference in audio when the levels are not even adjusted at all. If you look at the sound file from the Blackmagic camera with the built-in microphone, the level is, it's just non-existent. It's at zero. You end up boosting the volume so high. It's really crazy. And if I back away a little bit more, watch how the volume drop, how the sound level, or the gain rather, drops off so dramatically. If you look at the sound file from the Blackmagic camera with the built-in microphone, the level is, it's just non-existent. It's at zero. You end up boosting the volume so high. It's really crazy. And if I back away a little bit more, watch how the volume drop, how the sound level, or the gain rather, drops off so dramatically. Okay, so now we're filming the clip on the two cameras. We have the iPhone and we have the Black Magic. You can hear the difference in the audio. And I'm going to remind you, the Black Magic camera is set to 100% again. And I understand that you want a mic when you want to do real audio. I understand that the built-in mic on a camera is never going to be fantastic. Fine, I'm good with that. But I'm talking about just a simple thing like a family vlog. When you're this close, why can't two large mics give you decent audio on this camera? And the really bigger question is, how is it that no one complains about this every time you see a review of the camera? Everyone actually says the mics are good, the mics aren't good. I wanted to clarify a couple of things from the video. I filmed it during breakfast, so some of the language isn't perfect. When I'm saying the audio is bad, I'm primarily talking about the gain. That the gain is so low that you have to boost it in post-processing. So again, I'm on 100% right now from the camera mic, and I'm farther away than I was in the restaurant. You can't touch the camera from here, but that's because of the lens I'm using. So right now I'm gonna boost the gain in DaVinci Resolve so you can get an idea of what the mic can sound like. If you so now the volume is, the gain rather, has been boosted, and the mic is not absolutely terrible. What I'm trying to say is, why would I need to boost the gain so high? Right now I'm using the BMPCC 4K mic, but I'm behind the camera, so the audio won't be perfect, but I'm pretty close 
to that microphone, even though I am behind the camera. So this is the sound file from the iPhone 11 right out of the camera, and it looks the way I would expect a sound file to look, where there are some peaks and valleys. Then we go over here to the file from the BMPCC 4K, and it's just nothing. It's like, it just looks like the level was set too low, but remember that level is set to 100%. Now you can boost it, you know, you can put it up to here, and now you get a much better looking audio file. But what I don't understand is why does it need to be boosted in that manner? Why isn't coming out of the camera a little bit closer to this, to this iPhone file? And why is it coming out just so flat that it needs to be boosted pretty much to the maximum that you can do in this part of DaVinci Resolve, which is only to 30. So I would put it at about 26 or something probably. And that would be as high as I could go in in the edit page of um, of DaVinci Resolve. You can do other things in the audio page, but we're not really talking about that right now. So that's my problem with the mic on the Blackmagic 4K. And in the video, I kept saying that the mics are bad, but just to be clear, the problem isn't that the mic is bad. The problem is that the gain is too low. I've never seen any audio equipment where the level is just so non-existent. When you're recording, you're at that bottom like 10 or 20% of the meter range, which on this camera is like a negative 30, I think it is. And usually on sound equipment, you know, you're trying to hit this, I forget what it is. It's like a 12 to six or something, negative 12 to six range. On this camera, you can't get there. No matter what you're recording, there's, when you go to 100, you can't ever get to that range. So it just doesn't make any sense to me. I would love to see one of two things happen. Either Blackmagic put out a firmware update and then address this and allow us to boost the gain of the mic while we're recording. Then we'll have a stronger file to work with in DaVinci Resolve or whatever program we're working in. Or what would be really amazing if someone did a modification to the camera the way they're doing with the uh, screen in the back you know the camera's screen in the back doesn't tilt there's a company now that is going to be allowing you to replace the screen not really replace it but adjust the screen and make it um, adjustable i would love to see someone go into the camera and you know swap out that mic for a mic that was maybe a little more of a zoom mic or a mic that at least had the gain the way we're accustomed to the gain being on all of our recording devices all right so i don't know maybe one day